Hello, hello there, my amazing grade fives and sixes, all the way up there at OPK. It is me, Lance Cardinal, here once again for another episode of Art Adventures, and I'm so happy to be here, as always, with you up there in uh, Wabiska Demare, my home community, where my reserve is, and my mom and all my family, and I hope everyone is having a great day. And I know you're all excited because Christmas is coming up very soon and that's so exciting. Dinners and food and playing outside and skidooing and time off and you get so much time off this year. It's amazing. A whole month to spend time with your family and your cohorts and being safe and spending quality time together. Amazing. Maybe you'll all end up going out to the, to the trap line for the, for the month. It'll, it'll be so much fun. All right, so the first thing we always say when we see each other is our greeting, and everyone knows what to say, and that's to say hello in Cree, and that is... Tanse! That's right, it's Tanse, which is hello in Cree, what we always say to each other. So I wanna hear you say it with me on the count of three. Are you ready? One, two, three, Tanse! <laughs> Well, some of you did it, so that's good. Uh, I just love that. I love saying hi to you. I love saying Cree words. I love sharing Cree words. Uh, it's so much fun, and it helps keep our culture alive. Those kind of things are really, really important, so thank you for being a part of that. Oh, like I said, Christmas is upon us. You can see here today in the studio, it's all Christmassy, including my little uh, Christmas Santa hat that has a um, animal furs here <laughs> so it's kind of an indigenous Santa hat if you will so I just love this hat it is so so cool and I hope you love it too because it's Christmassy and indigenous so there we go uh, but I guess what we should do now is learn about our Cree word of the day that's right the Cree word of the day is something we learn every single day or every single week that we do these projects and it sort of talks about what we're going to be doing that day um, sort of talks about what the craft is going to be so the Cree word for today is and that means Christmas that's right, it's Christmas time. So we're gonna say the word Christmas in Cree, and I'm sure you guys tried it, but let's try it together on the count of three. Are you ready? Piak, Niso, Ninsto, Nifaya Mahao, Kisagao. Nifaya Mahao, Kisagao. Yeah? Awesome, okay, you guys. All right, so now it's time to get to our craft of the day. That's right, this amazing craft today we're gonna be working on is something to do with Christmas and Christmas trees. And here it is. Yes, today we're gonna be making this really cool Christmas tree ornament. That's right, this really cool Christmas tree ornament uh, is uh, made of popsicle sticks and wood and has a little message that says, have a very Merry Christmas. So, so cool. And I absolutely love it, it's so much fun and it's a great gift, it's easy to do. And we're gonna do that together. Oh, <laughs> it's a bouncy tree. Uh, but that's it right there, so that's our Christmas tree. We're gonna get our little assistant to come on out and hold it for us. Where is he? Ah, oh, here he is. All right, buddy, hold our tree for us. Maybe right here beside Santa. Oh, it might get in the way, I think. What are we gonna do? Let's put little man, uh oh. He has to hold the tree right, just like that. They can work together as a team to hold that in place. And there we go, that should work. Perfect, all right. So the first thing we have to do for our project is get all the supplies together. So the first thing we're gonna need, of course, is popsicle sticks and I got a whole selection of them here. We're gonna need three different kinds if you have it. If not, you can improvise, do what you gotta do. We need some thick ones in red if possible. If not, you can paint the red one. We're gonna need five medium sized ones. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, this one's cracked. Get another one. Five medium sized popsicle sticks. And you're gonna need one long, slender, thin popsicle stick, just like that. Okay, so if you have those ones, that's great. If they're all the same size, that's also great too. It just doesn't matter. This is just an easier way to do it, but there's always a way. Next, we're gonna need uh, yellow paper. That's right, yellow paper scraps to make our star. So I have a bunch of paper scraps here we could use from different stars I've made before, so we can use those again. And what else do we need? Oh, some pom-poms, of course. So here they are, a whole plate of multicolored pom-poms. So many different ones that we could use for this project and I love colorful pom-poms. They make me so excited and they're fluffy and they're puffy. I just love them. We're also gonna need some green paint for our tree. And I've already mixed together some green paint here. And of course, as you know, when we're painting, we need all the painting supplies as well. Hello, Mr. Man, I'm gonna get you to stand over here with that. 
Okay, right there. I'll put all the paint here, move our sticks over. And because we're painting, we need some water. This water is a little bit green because I've already painted something else with it, <laughs> this tree here. <laughs> so it stays a little bit green. And of course, we need some paper towels and a paintbrush. Just one paintbrush is good. It's only going to be one color today. Put that over here. We're also going to need some uh, uh, black Sharpie. That's right. So something to write the words we have here. Have a very Merry Christmas. I have a black Sharpie, but that's my message. Whatever message you want to write is up to you. So as long as you got a black marker, you can write whatever you want. And of course, string for hanging it all up on the top. We'll also need um, a pencil or, or something like that. Oh, wait. Oh, I have two different Sharpies here. Ooh, two different ones. Which one's oh, that one? Ah, that one. Very thin. So the, one of these two will work. We'll just give it a shot. We'll put those up here. And a string, of course, to hang up the top. So we'll put that on the side here, ready to go. And I think we have everything. I have some scissors to cut the, um, the popsicle sticks. And I have glue gun, which is great. Today I'm using a glue gun, as always. Um, you know, normally I use a glue gun because it's faster for me to show demonstrations. Uh, but they are very hot. So be sure if you're going to use one, uh, that you get someone to help you figure it out. If not, you can use regular white glue. Uh, just takes a little bit longer. You gotta let things dry before you paint it. Uh, you know how it goes. And of course, I have my trusty uh, hair dryer to, to dry the paint. And that's really, really cool. So that's awesome as well. So I think we're ready to start. Let's begin. First thing we're gonna do today is cut our popsicle sticks to the right size. Now the first thing we need is our long popsicle stick. And that is this one right here. So it's long and slender. We'll put it right down there. Now I have paper here on the table because I'm gonna be painting, so I wanna put it down so I don't get the table dirty, but we'll leave that there for our cutting as well. So one piece there. I'm also gonna need a red piece for the bottom. You can see here, I have a little flower pot. We can cut that out of, uh, flower pot, cut it out of that one there. And I need five pieces that go here. One, two, three, four, five. And that is piak. Nisa, Nista, Niwa, Nyanan. Five. Now we want to cut, make sure these are the right length because we want to make it a tree shape, right? So let's get a pencil if you have one. You don't have to write, you don't have to draw the, the length out, but I like to just to make sure I'm in the right, know what I'm, remember what I'm doing. we we'll go a little bit shorter for that one to about there. And then a little bit shorter on that one to about there. A little bit shorter there. And one final one, very short on top. Now you don't have to, you can also recycle one and cut it into four different pieces. This is just easier visually to see what's going on. So then we take our scissors and we cut them. One. Two. Three. Well, that one didn't cut very well. Darn it, after we do it. And four. Sometimes they will break as you cut them. So it's sometimes best to hold on to the piece that flies away. You can use it as the middle piece. I think that'll work for the next level up. Improvise, right? Go with the flow. And the bottom one, we should cut off the very edges because it's a little bit round. We want them to be all square and the same. Now, you just watch me cut and make things fly everywhere. Try not to do that too much if there's people around you in class. You don't want to hurt anybody, uh, but it is kind of a messy project, okay? Now the next part we're going to do is cut our flower pot. Now this large popsicle stick might not necessarily be painted already. It might actually uh, be like the popsicle stick color. You can paint it after, but I'm just going to cut um, a flower pot shape out of the bottom of this. And there it is, just like that. And that will go on the bottom of our tree. So, so far, so good. I think we should glue our pieces together and go from there. All right, so I said before I'm using a glue gun today to put this all together, but you can use whatever kind of glue you have at, at, uh, in class. So I'm gonna start with the bottom and put the, the uh, tree pot on first. There we go. And next we're gonna do the longest piece like this. I'm just gluing, putting some glue and pressing it on. Now, like I said before, if you are using white glue, you're gonna have to wait some time before you can actually um, uh, paint or move it around. It takes a while for white glue to dry, like at least an hour. 
um, before it's fully cured. Uh, maybe in about half an hour you can work with it, but you have to still be careful. I would say, you know, if you want to do a two-day project with this, you can glue everything together on day one and then paint it all on the second day. It's up to you guys, or you can pause the video and do it that way. So I'm just gluing these all into place. Um, I'm trying to keep them spaced out almost evenly as much as possible. So I don't want to, you know, I don't want to put them too close and this one's too far. It has to look the same. Consistency. Continuity, as they call it. And when you get older, as you guys are, you want it to be a little bit more specific. It's not just willy-nilly, right? All right, there we go. We have all the pieces of wood glued together. And I glued it to the paper. <laughs> it happens, it happens. All right, so there we go. So it's all glued together and a little, some little glue gun strings, which I just love. <laughs> not. Um, but there we go. So there we go. Ah, perfect. So we have two sides. You know, I don't like that this is showing. I'm going to cut another one and glue it on top of that, just so both sides have the, the uh, plant pot and it looks a little bit more neat and tidy. So I'll use my scissors and cut another piece. I'm going to glue it to the back of this one, just so I don't see this. See that? We want to cover that because an ornament on the tree will spin, right? You want, you want to make sure both sides look good, so if it starts to rotate, uh, it's not, it's not going to show the bad side. <laughs> there is no bad side on this piece of art. All right, the next thing we're going to do is paint our tree. Now we're going to roll up our sleeves and we're going to get some paint together and start painting our project right now. Now I mixed this special color myself. It's a custom color uh, that I wanted to use for this project. It is like a, a forest tree green, but I mixed it myself. You can also just get a pre-mixed green if you want from the, the craft store or um, from your art supply room. And let's start painting. Now keep in mind, you don't have to goop it on. It doesn't have to be dark green. It can just be, you know, a light green. And, and try not to get too much on our red, if you can. Or you might have to get some red paint and start over with some red. That would be a lot more work. The good news is, you, can, you don't have to paint all the way to the top. So you can use the top to hold it because that's where the star is going to go. It's also a good place to use, your, to use to, with your fingers to flip it over and paint. So we want to go up, not all the way up, but most of the way up if you can. Now as you paint, sometimes because there's lots of edges on this, on this project, it goops the paint on the edge. You want to make sure there, see it's gooping. You want to try and catch all that. That's what causes paint to take days and days to dry, is all that gooping. So try not to have that happen if you can. Now I am trying my best not to let the other side touch the, the paper so that it doesn't stick and ruin the paint job I just did. So try to do that as well. Do your best to paint it as nicely as possible. This is probably going to be a gift. If not, it's going to be seen by everyone in your family when you hang it on the Christmas tree. So make sure you get the sides as well. Every single side should be painted and looking amazing, which I know it is for you guys. You guys are awesome artists. I trust that you're going to do your best job ever. All right, there we go, everyone. Donezo. So like, like I said before, I left the top part uh, not painted because we're going to put our tree star on there so it doesn't have to be painted. I like what I've done so far. Oh, I got paint on the bottom. Just what I told you not to do. <laughs> well, it looks like I might have to get some red paint after and repair that little mistake, but that's okay. So we're done with the green paint. We're going to rinse it out in our water. Just like that. Rinse it till there's no color. And I'm going to just see if I can grab some red paint. All right, give me one second, I will be right back. I have returned with the red paint. So I'm gonna make that little repair that I, I made a mistake on because you know, I'm just gonna do it now while I'm painting. So I'm taking a little bit of red because I did a little bit of a boo-boo on there, you can see. I'm gonna get some red and I'm gonna paint that flower pot uh, just so that red vanishes. You don't have to be as particular as I am, but uh, you know, we all have our different ways and I like things to be as well done as possible. So some, some people like it to look a little bit more rustic or a little bit more artsy and colorful and, and I, I'm not, I like mine to be very, very specific. Okay, so we're all done that. Now let's blow dry it and so we can speed up the process of drying. Mm. 
when you take this piece of paper away, that's what's causing all the trouble, is this piece of paper. Put that in my recycling for now, and let's keep trying. Now having an old hair dryer around is a really good idea. If you want to be an artist and have an art studio in your house, a hair dryer is one of those things that are really good to have. You can even ask, ask for one for Christmas uh, because your mom or dad or auntie or someone probably has an old one you can have. Now it's really important to get this nice and dry so when you draw on it with a marker, it doesn't uh, have any moisture or won't write on it. All right, looks like we are done with that. Not bad, a little bit tacky still, means a little bit wet, but we will let it dry as we work, keep working on it. Okay, we're done with our paint. Let's put all our paint supplies away. We can put our paint away. I like making sure that everything's put away as I, as I go. It keeps my workspace tidy and makes me feel a bit more organized. So we're all done with this and these paints as well. Our pencils and stuff up here. Paintbrush is done. Okay. Ah, the next step we're gonna do is making a star for the top of our tree. So we have our scrap paper right here, and the next thing we want to do is draw a star. Now, if you're not very good at drawing a star, that's okay. Do your best. Um, just draw the star the best you can and cut it out. You don't have to even draw it. You can just start cutting it, and it'll just be what it is. And I know you'll do an awesome job with that. Let's make our little star. I'm gonna draw mine out since it, it, it seems to be easier sometimes to have it drawn. There we go. Not the most perfect star in the world, but it'll do for our project. And as always, I like to cut things out smaller and then it'll be easier to cut out. I think I'm gonna try and cut off all the black if I can so that it's just yellow showing and no black for my tree. But you can leave the black as well, it'll look cool. And don't forget, if you have other stuff you wanna put on the top for a star, you can. Maybe you have a star, little trinkets that your teacher will have brought for you, or maybe you have um, stickers or anything else you wanna put up there, uh, gold foil, anything you want to make the star, but I'm using a yellow piece of paper because it's easier that way. So we take our yellow piece of paper and we glue the star on the top. All right, so let's do that right now. There we go. Glue that right on top. Yes, I love it. Look at that. The star is there and it looks so, so good. Okay, next up we're gonna do is gluing on our pom-poms. So this is a really fun part because we get to sort of decorate our, our tree how we want. Now, I make sure when you're decorating your tree that you're putting the pom-poms on the outer edges here because you want to save room in the middle to write a special message when we're done uh, for Christmas. And whatever that message is, it's up to you. Um, but we're going to start putting on some pom-poms real quick here uh, and we're going to get them all done. Now you can put multicolored pom-poms. This one over there has certain um, colors put together in a row. I'm not going to do that this time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it a little bit more random. Now I'm putting it sort of near the bottom. This one's a little bit of a of a fail, but putting it sort of near the bottom of the um, of the stick on the bottom edge as if it's hanging down. I like that look, so it looks like it's a hanging down ornament. I'm having a hard time finding any yellow yellow pom-poms in my little collection of, of pom-poms. But we need some more red in here, that's for sure. Red is one of my favorite colors of all time. So I like to just uh, work with whatever colors I have nearby, but red's one of my favorite colors. Red and green. I guess I'm a Christmas kind of guy. <laughs> so again, I'm just putting these randomly wherever I can. They don't have to be in any specific place. They can just be put randomly um, and whatever you feel is best for your project. Maybe you want to do all yellow. or Maybe all you have is blue. It's fine. Do whatever you have, right? There's no rules to art, as I always say. You just have to do it and stick to it. Believe in your instincts when you're working. Don't second guess yourself when you're doing art or when you're making something. Envision it in your head. Think of what it's gonna look like when it's done. Imagine it, see it, and then work towards that. And you will instinctively, without even knowing it, you will start doing things 
uh, towards that goal. Just like in life, when we picture things, we, we focus and say, okay, you know what? I really want to do well on my math test this week. I'm gonna do so well. I'm gonna practice. I'm gonna do my, my homework. I'm gonna practice all my, my problems. And then it works. But if you don't think of it, you say, if you just say, I hope I do well on my math test. You won't because you're not thinking it through. Okay, so that's one of those rules of life. <laughs> all right, so here we have our tree is totally uh, decorated. All the pom poms are in place, all the ornaments, and the star on top right there looks really, really cool. I just noticed in the back I can see the stick there, but we'll pretend that's not happening right now. Um, <laughs> maybe at the end, maybe if you want to do two stars, one on the front, one on the back, it'll hide that, but it's totally up to you. I'm going to leave it for now. Um, so there we go, there's our tree. Now the next thing we're going to do is write our little message on the inside like that. All right, so I'm going to do the same one as this one, which is have a very Merry Christmas. We'll do that one again, okay? How did I do it? Oh, have is on top. Okay, so we want top one to say have. Have. A. Very. Merry. Am I spelling it right? Oh, I am. <laughs> Have a very merry Christmas. I'm, I'm doing this upside down. I hope you realize that so you can see it better. I'm, I'm writing upside down, and uh, I think I'm doing pretty good so far. There we go. And this time we're going to put a little heart on the bottom just for love. And that means that you love your family, whoever's here with you in your life. You, I'm going to color that in black. I think it would look really cool. Just as a colored in thing. And you know what else you can do? You can even decorate your little pot if you want to do little designs. You know? It's okay to decorate if you want. There we go. Just like that. Perfect! Oh my goodness! It's looking so good, you guys. Look at that. Cute little ornament. Have a very Merry Christmas. Looks great. A little scratchy writing there, but that's what I get for writing upside down. <laughs> so the next thing we're going to do in the last part of this project is to put a little loop on the top so it'll hang uh, on the Christmas tree. That's the easiest part. Just cut a little string. You can use whatever kind of string you want, but just be sure that the hole that you're putting it on is big enough for a couple of fingers to go through so it can hang on your Christmas tree, okay? Now I'm going to be using a glue gun, of course, because that's how I roll. Um, and that's gonna be glued on the back where we don't have any paint. <laughs> that way it's maybe meant to look like it was supposed to be like that. Um, and you know how I say I would lick your finger to make sure you don't stick to the finger? That works there too. And hey, oh my goodness. Yes, all finished. Have a very Merry Christmas. I absolutely love this. And it's a wooden ornament. It's kind of substantial too. It's really, really cool. It's strong. It's, uh, it'll last a long time. And if the cat gets it or your little brother or sister plays with it, it's not going to get broken. So I absolutely love this. And I hope yours turned out very well as well. Now I have two of them. Yay, one for my mom, one for my sister. I love that. So that's it for me, you guys. Thank you, as always, for joining me for the art adventures. I'm Lance Cardinal, and may the creator watch over you as long as the sun shines, the grass grows, and the river flows. Merry Christmas, you guys. Have a great new year. See you later. Two dancing trees. Oh, I love these. I'm trying to hang them on my thing over here.